Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday morning makes on a Sunday. <laughs> um, I ended up not being able to film a video yesterday morning. Um, and uh, so I decided to just defer my creating until Sunday morning. And I actually created a little bit on Saturday night. And uh, I'm coming on this morning to share uh, what I made with you guys. And uh, just to thank everybody that's uploaded um, uh, all their projects on both the Facebook group that Jana um, coordinates over on Facebook called Saturday Morning Makes and Today's Too, as well as over on Instagram. I've seen lots of your projects over there. I've seen lots of the Facebook projects, not all of them yet. Um, and then I just started looking at YouTube just for a few minutes before I came on. Lots of uploads from Andrea and Nancy and Jana and uh, who else? Um, TJ Bird's Journey, I think, uploaded. Um, Two Crafters, One Design, of course, is very active. And um, so Mo Creations and Girlia's Cards and um, uh, You See Why I'm a Diva, which is Lisa, Melissa, and Gloria. And uh, I also um, saw a new channel to me, Mandalay Cards. I don't think, I think I was subscribed to her already. I'm trying to remember if I just subscribed this morning or if I was already subscribed. But her name is Dahlia. And uh, she made an incredible aviator journal that I just watched um, uh, the beginning of the video. I want to watch the rest of it. I kind of scrolled through and look at it. But I'm going to watch the whole thing a little bit later today so I can see all of its glory. But I loved what I saw so far so much. And um, so I went ahead and shared it to my community tab. So if you're interested in seeing it, it is a beautiful, beautiful journal. I love the um, digital kits that she used to create it and uh, some, of the, some of the things that she did to make it extra special. So always fun to see journals. I think my friend Rhonda, uh, randomly Rhonda, Rhonda uploaded um, today too, I believe, or this weekend. And then there's so many of you that are doing things like uh, Gingerbreads of February with my sweet friend Tina of Crafty Bean. Um, so lots of fun things going on, lots of gingerbread projects on Instagram I saw. Um, and it's just a lot, of, you know, lots of fun. So thanks everybody that makes Saturday Morning Makes part of their week, um, whether you choose to upload on, a lot of people upload on Saturday mornings or Friday nights. Um, a lot of people upload over the weekend. Um, but again, you can upload anytime. We just call it Sat Morn Makes because during the pandemic and when I first started this, um, most of the time I would create on Saturday mornings. I would give myself an hour and a half to two hours to kind of feed my soul a little bit. I think a lot of times we do all of our shoulds, the things that we have to do, if you will, but we don't do the things that we want to do. And so I gave myself permission to create for a couple hours every weekend because that was when I had time off. And uh, that has changed a little bit over the years. Um, uh, this is our fourth year, of course, but um, I do still like to try to share something on the weekend. It's probably the time that I have, I'm able to take some time to create the most. But whatever day that is for you, maybe you're off on a weekday, feel free to upload your Saturday morning makes and we'll get around and see them all eventually. It's so fun to spend 40 minutes or, or a half hour or 10 minutes on your break um, to just see what people are creating. So I want to thank everybody that's uploaded. Dahlia, um, I'm not sure if you're brand new to, to uh, Saturday Morning Makes or not, but I welcome you to the Saturday Morning Makes community. And uh, I'm so happy that you shared your beautiful journal. So check out Dahlia's channel. You can find her um, channel in my community feed, okay? Um, and I believe it's Mandalay Crafts. I'm, but don't quote me on that. Go check my community tab on my channel here on YouTube. Um, so let's dive in. I'm going to show you what I've been working with. Um, a while back, uh, you guys saw, saw me share some embossing folders that I had purchased. Um, I've talked a lot about Lisa Horton and uh, how much I like uh, her crafts. And uh, the, she is from um, the UK. And I, I'm not exactly sure where. But um, she has a wonderful YouTube channel. She does Facebook Lives, and I think it's Facebook Lives or YouTube. She reshows them on YouTube, I think. Um, but anyway, if you go check out her YouTube channel, as well as you can find her products for sure at scrapbook.com. But I had purchased these, and someone had said, could you please use these so we can see what they're like? So um, this one is called Coneflower Meadow. And this one is, of course, some beautiful coneflowers. I had a huge coneflower plant in my garden, 
and uh, it ended up perishing during the heat dome that we had here a couple years ago, and I have not reseeded or replaced it yet, so I'm hoping to do that, but I love cone flowers. It's echinacea, and then um, the other thing that I purchased was this foxgloves one, and Lisa has so many incredible embossing folders. She has some that you can purchase that come with coordinating dies that actually cut out the embossed piece and then you can use them as flowers on your card. There's so many neat things, so many wonderful products. And of course, I believe she's also the person that is uh, showing um, the uh, Lisa Hayes stamps also. Um, and I did a video with the, them, uh, our very first video of the year, I featured her stamps um, in the Saturday Morning Makes four-year kickoff episode. But um, anyway, check out Lisa and uh, just so many beautiful embossing folders. And I'm going to share how I use these. And then I also pulled out this embossing folder. This was a recent purchase. Um, I believe I used a, um, I got a Christmas thing from Simon Says Stamp. And this was one of the purchases that I made with the $15 that they sent me. And this is by Nellie's Choice. And so Nellie Snellen, I believe, is, is her company. It's Nellie's Choice. Um, and this is called the Flower Frame Embossing Folder. Okay. And uh, just in case you're needing, does it give me the number on here? Mm, it's EF3D020. That is the number. Okay. So it's the flower frame, and it has beautiful um, daffodils and uh, ferns and greenery and then other little flowers like snowdrops and stuff. So it, And it creates kind of a frame on your, on your card when you emboss with it. So those are the embossing folders that I used. And then I used a lot of other supplies, too. I'm trying to figure out a place to stick these. There we go. Um, I was playing around with all sorts of stuff today. I went through all of my jemmy type stuff in my basement yesterday. I've been doing a lot of cleaning um, and I was down there actually last night looking for some things and I went through and pulled out a bunch of gems. I used this MFT All Occasion Sentiment Set. This was a set they gave away many years ago during one of their birthday celebrations. I used that. Um, I used from Lily of the Valley stamps. Lily of the Valley still has their sale going on. This is one of my favorite stamp sets of theirs. And I have this, um, I just purchased this in photopolymer, but I had it as digital. And it's nice to have both because with the digital, of course, I can make them bigger and make them focal points um, and use them in a lot of different ways, okay? Including you could Mod Podge them onto home decor if you wanted. So, um, which I'm getting very interested in, um, you know, doing home decor. I've been playing around with some stuff and I hopefully will have something to share with you eventually. But um, anyway, this is the set that I used. I believe it's called the Flower Frames, but don't quote me on that. And I will try and link it down below. I'll link you over to the LOTV Digi Shop on Etsy where they sell their stamps. You can also go to their website at Lily of the Valley Stamps. I think it's .co.uk, but again, just type in Lily of the Valley Stamps and their website will come up and you'll be linked into it. So um, they these are still on sale at the lowest price um, of the season. Uh, they're selling US, I think these are $13.23 and this is a huge A5 polymer set and you've seen me show their stamp sets many times over the years. And then my sweet friend Jana is a stamping up demonstrator and this is a Stampin' Up! set, and I use this Heartfelt Love and Caring Thoughts um, Are With You. And I use this, this stamp here as well as this stamp to make the big tag with the cone flowers that I'm going to show you. And uh, I love this set. It is a beautiful set to make tags with, to just stamp a flower, add a sentiment, and make really pretty tags. And it gives you the background elements that you need. Um, to really make a beautiful, beautiful card or tag. I love this set. I love the detail on this floral, and I also love the detail on these flowers. So just gorgeous. And I think, are these Sweet William? I'm not sure. But anyway, um, it's red rubber and cling. Uh, I'll open this so you can see it. Um, and I haven't set mine up. I just use them, <laughs> but I could. I could add the stickers to them, but this is a beautiful red rubber cling mounted stamp set. So I just wanted to show you that. Let me cl 
close that up so I don't lose any of the stamps. So that is one of the stamp sets that I used today. And then from uh, my creative time, for some of my sentiments, I use this Ginger Easter Bunnies stamp set. And my friend Melissa, MJ Carroll, um, she did some projects with these adorable, she made some ginger bunnies this weekend and posted them. So hop on over to her Instagram or her YouTube channel and you can see what she did too. Um, but this is such a fun set. I love making these little ginger bunnies. You can stamp them this way, but there's also coordinating die sets that allow you to make the ginger bunnies um, out of the gingerbreads, okay? So you have all the different, you have the different sizes for the gingerbread, um, the two different, or we actually have three different gingerbread sizes now. But anyway, you can make all sorts of different ginger bunnies using these dies. And then there's lots of stamp sets that are Easter related. Um, and this is another one that I really love. This one's called Painting Bunnies. It's MCT 376. And uh, you'll have to check the store to see what's available still. But um, wonderful, wonderful products for um, Easter from My Creative Time. You can use my code, which is just the word Jill, all caps. So my first name, J-I-L-L, -L, all caps for 10% off at my creative time. I don't have a code for Lily of the Valley, but it's on sale right now. So you'd get a great deal if you went there. And then don't forget about my everyday discount code for Peachy Keen stamps, which is Jill10. And you can always get 10% off at Peachy Keen if you use my code. And those are the companies that I work with. <clears throat> and I am an affiliate marketer for my creative time as well as for Peachy Keen stamps. I like to be very clear on that. Um, but I love their products and that's how I became an affiliate marketer for them because I've used their products for my entire stamping career pretty much. Um, so let me just go through really quick. I'll show you a few more things that I used to create what I'm going to show you. To make my bunnies, um, I use this little die. This is from Impression Obsession and, um, it's just a little bunny die and I use that die as well as this die which is a die from Lil Inker Designs back in the day. Now, Lil Inker doesn't exist anymore. Our sweet Laura, um, she closed her shop, but she was the one that pioneered adding stitching to dies. She was the one who started it. And I, I have many of her dies in my stash from when her company was open. And this is one of them. And I use this almost every year for Easter. And it's two different size bunnies and then two different size bows. And this smaller bow works perfectly on this Impression Obsession die. So, um, and <clears throat> so those are just some of the Easter dies that I have. Um, let me throw those back in here just so I don't lose them. And then, uh, let's see, I think those are the bunny dies. This goes in here with the My Creative Time stuff. Okay, so then the other things that I use die-wise, I use this um, Wacky Stitch Circles die set. This is from Anna White. You can see the beautiful stitching that is on these circle dies. And this is what I call an investment die set. You buy it once, you have it your entire die cutting career. And it is a beautiful die set. I love the stitching that Anna does with her dies. I use this um, oval die set that does uh, that just has a kind of a um, a stickled edge or what do you call it? Oh my gosh! Anyway, it's like an etched edge die, and I believe this is from Spellbinders back in the day. It's probably over twenty years old or at least fifteen years old, something like that. And then I use some of these uh, just stitch dies and scallop dies that I have in my stash. And for papers, I use this beautiful basics paper pad from My Creative Time. Again, you can get 10% off if you use the code Jill um, or any of the design team members' names. Uh, there are many designers and you can spread the love around to whoever you would like to, to uh, give the commission to. So um, let me dive into my projects. Um, I'm gonna start with this coneflower tag. And I did spray these tags with the In The Stars Diamond Shimmer Mist. This is a Bath & Body Works product. And I got this idea from Anna White. Um, it, this is a, a pump spray and it does put this beautiful shimmer onto your pro projects. So I hope you can see the glitter that this did. And I took this outside and sprayed it and then I brought it in the house and I dried it with my heat tool. Okay, and I just think it's so pretty to see that shimmer when you're when you're looking at these. Um, so I hope you can kind of tell that it's there. 
Um, but anyway, uh, this is a, a giant tag that I got from Red Lead Paperworks that they sent me in one of my packages. It's a, it's a big, like, 8-inch tag. And uh, I did emboss it with that gorgeous coneflower embossing folder. And I colored it with Copic markers, some various purples and browns and golds. And then I also used various um, inks, Shaded Lilac, Amethyst Allure from Paper Tray Ink, and Winter uh, Wisteria. So I did use a bunch of different inks as well as tea dye distress ink. Um, and then I also used some black, um, uh, what was it? I think it was Memento Tuxedo Black. And uh, you can see this stamp that's from that Stampin' Up! set. And Jana is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you're interested in anything, go to Jana Stamps on YouTube, her YouTube channel, and she will tell you about ordering from Stampin' Up! if you're not familiar. And Jana's wonderful, very helpful, very knowledgeable stamper. She knows so much. Um, so uh, that is the stamp set that I use that in the, I think it's called In the Meadow. And uh, I just, I use the little uh, circle stamp or the little kind of background stamp as well as the, the um, stamp that has uh, the words on it, if you will. And um, I just love how this turned out. This is the sentiment from that same Stampin' Up! set. Heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you. And then these little gold stars that I added are from uh, Joanne Fabric and Crafts. And then I just took a little bit of purple gingham paper just to add some detail um, to the top and kind of bring your eye through the tag. And then I tied it off with some beautiful seam binding that I actually got from my friend Anna White. This what came in on one of Anna's packages that she sent to me. Anna is so sweet. I am trying to work on a package for Anna. One of these days I'm going to get it in the mail. Um, and then I also used uh, some raffia. This was some raffia that I got at the thrift store. So um, I love how this turned out. It's it's just gorgeous. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might um, use it as a bookmark in some of my larger books. But um, I love how this turned out and that it has cone flowers on it, which is one of my favorite flowers. So just beautiful. So I did that. And then um, I played with uh, the cone flowers a little bit more, too. And I embossed just a craft tag. And then I colored with Copic markers and I added some white gel pen to add additional detail um, to the flowers. And um, I love how this turned out. And then I popped one of my bunnies on here. And I did add some white gel pen to the bunny, but I forgot to do the tail on this one. And uh, so I'll just, I was looking for my little white pom-poms when I first started this. And uh, I think they're all in the basement. So I got to run down and bring some of those up because it's bunny season. And uh, I've already seen some people pulling out their bunnies from Impression Obsession. Uh, I think it was, was it Ginger or Robin? Somebody dressed one of the bunnies, or maybe it was Nancy Martinez, uh, dressed one of the bunnies in the Arala Miha shop dresses, which was a Saturday Morning Makes video I did way back um, towards the very beginning of Saturday Morning Makes. But I love those bunnies um, from Impression Obsession and the beautiful artistry of Elisa Baker. Um, so if you're interested in those bunnies, you can go check out Impression Obsession too. But this is one of Impression Obsession's dyes, and I just added a little white gel pen eye to it and some whiskers and some little details. So I love how this turned out. I did add a little bit of um, some of the lace trims that my sweet friend Tina of Crafty Bean sent to me just to add a little detail to the bottom of the tag. And then here's where I use that Spellbinders um uh, etched edge die, and I added that stamp from MFT. It says, for a sweet friend. So I just thought this might be a fun little tag to send out to someone with some happy mail. So there is that. It is tied off with some beautiful sparkle um, yarn from uh, Joanne Fabric and Crafts, as well as um, some beautiful seam binding, which I was gifted to. The, the, these seam bindings, these ones were gifted to me by Tina in a package she sent me at Christmas. So Tina, thank you again for everything you sent, the laces, the trims, all the goodies that you send me. I'm so blessed by your friendship. Um, I just have no words. So uh, that was uh, the first one, the second one that I did using, um, uh, let's see, so that's the cone flowers. This was the first one that I did using uh, the other um, 
the other embossing folder, which is Fox Gloves again. So just in case you're wondering which one this one is, this is the Fox Gloves, okay? And then I did one more with the Fox Gloves. I had these tags that someone gifted to me and I glued two of them together. I put one of Anna's circles on the back and I added for a sweet friend. So you can see the stitching on Anna's dies, how, how sweet it is. And then um, I embossed the front with those beautiful foxglove flowers. And then I just added some pink toned Copic markers. So I thought this would just be a really sweet tag to send happy mail to someone and use it and be able to write a little note. So um, those are my little tags using the two embossing folders. And then the third embossing folder is the one from Nellie's Choice that makes a frame. And so I put this into the center of the folder so that the frame would go all the way around the outside of the tag. And it, it embosses a beautiful deep impression, as you can see. On the back, I did that same oval and I, I wrapped this little piece of purple gingham around to the back of the card. The embossing itself is colored with Copic markers and a white gel pen. And I love the detail on this one and the beautiful daffodils and little coral bells, uh, bluebells. Uh, I think these are supposed to be lilacs or uh, not lilacs, um, grape hyacinths, which is another spring um, flower that I have in my garden. So I just thought this turned out so cute. There are some snowdrops. There's just so many beautiful flowers. And I just added a happy Easter sentiment from my creative time from that stamp set that I showed you. And then I just added a variety of green gems just to add some sparkle to this. And again, it is sprayed with that spray from Bath and Body Works just to add some glimmer and shimmer. And I hope you can see that. And then this again is more of that seam binding I received from uh, Tina Bean. So Tina, thank you. Um, and then I have two more little things to show you. I made a little card with some of the bunnies um, that I created. And uh, this one just says, Happy Easter. It's a very simple card from a Rala Miha shop. I used some of her rose papers and portrait papers. Um, and Betty has some wonderful new files in her shop. So be sure to go check out. Um, and I'm, I talked with her, I messaged her about prob doing a promotion for spring. So we'll see. She has an incredible Peter Rabbit file. And uh, I am in love with it, and I want to purchase it. So um, you might want to go check that out if you love Peter Rabbit. I think the copyright on that was up, similar to Winnie the Pooh, where the copyright ends. And so now everybody can use the Winnie the Pooh information um, and images and, uh, you know, all sorts of things. And uh, I believe the same may be true of Peter Rabbit. So anyway, um, go check out her store, Irala Miha Shop, all one word on Etsy. And uh, she has so many beautiful digitals. And she also sells a lot of the things that she creates. And she's an incredible artist. She also designs for Scrap Diva Designs, so for Erica, um, as does Strawberry Cream 39, my sweet friend Jen. And uh, Jen is always sh sharing so many fun things on her channel, too. Marilyn G shared some beautiful um, Diana Markham stuff this weekend, so be sure and check out her channel. And uh, all of my Diana Markham pals are, are putting up beautiful projects. Um, I still haven't even photographed the ones that I did the other day uh, of the cherries, so I need to get those photos um, set set up and put over on the Create It With Adornit page. So don't forget to post your projects to the Create It With Adornit page if you're using Diana stamps, because it's so fun to see everybody's makes using Diana's fabulous art. Um, so anyway, this is again, uh, the little Inker Designs bunny, the Impression Obsession bunny, and I just added two of them. I, I used a bunch of these little enamel dots to kind of look like, or mimic Easter eggs, if you will. I used more of the pretty seam binding from, um, Tina, and then I added just this little touch of lace. I just felt the card needed a little something more. And so at the very last minute, I added this little touch of lace, and I think that was the perfect finishing touch to this card. And uh, if you are new to card making and you feel like you can't make cards, um, the biggest thing I would say is to start simple. Start with a rectangle of patterned paper or embossed paper, then add a second layer, whether you do part of a circle or a heart or another rectangle, 
um, with a different pattern and try to keep one pattern in the background small and the pattern here may be a little bit bigger. This one has roses on it. And then add your focal point, whatever that's gonna be. And then the last thing you're gonna do is add some little details around your card. And it helps if it draws the eye through the card in like a triangle. Um, there's a thing called the rule of three um, that is very helpful. Uh, if you do three pink things, for example, your eye gets drawn through the card. So there's pink, pink, pink. Um, but anyway, uh, I know a lot of you are new to card making and uh, it, there is, it takes time. It took me a long time to learn how to card make. It took me time to learn how to scrapbook and make a good scrapbook page. But um, practice is how we learn. You just have to keep you know, going along and just watch all the beautiful makers here on YouTube and over on Instagram and Facebook and you get so many ideas um, you know, it, to create and make cards. So uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing this cute little bunny card. And um, I have one last thing to share. And uh, I wanted to find a way to be able to enclose some bunnies to send to somebody that they could then create with. So I got this idea to just take a panel. This is a, this is a die that was in my stash. And I just set four eyelets um, across the die um, at the corners here of where this oval sort of sticks out. And then I threaded it through with twine and tied a little bow. And uh, that allowed me to tuck the bunnies underneath the little um, twine ends. And uh, it kind of holds them in place. You can put a little pop dot on them so that whoever receives this can pull these off and then use them however they want, maybe to make little tags for someone or to just pop them onto an envelope that they're mailing. Um, but anyway, I just thought this was really cute. It would also just make a cute card just like this. So, and then here you can see where I use that Lily of the Valley Home Sweet Home label. I just thought this turned out so cute. It kind of has a farmhouse vibe to it. So those are all my projects for Saturday Morning Makes. Again, I want to thank everybody that is part of this wonderful community, everybody that uploads projects. Um, I just say hello to every single one of you. I had so much fun hopping around and seeing everything that everyone is creating. Beautiful gingers from Robin and uh, um, just lovely projects. Lots of Diana Markham stuff, lots of gingerbread of February hashtag stuff for uh, Tina's hashtag that she's doing, Crafty Bean here on YouTube. Um, just so many beautiful things that people are sharing. And it's just a joy to, to come on whenever I am able to steal some time, <laughs> which lately is not as much time as I would like. But whenever I'm able to steal some time and come and see what you're all creating, it makes my heart happy. So thanks for hashtagging your project, Satmorn Makes, and for joining me for this wonderful, wonderful time of crafting whenever you're able to feed your soul a little bit by creating art. Um, I want to give a shout out to my friend Brian and all the fellows out there. Brian is doing a wonderful February collage challenge, and uh, he's sharing wonderful collage. I haven't been over to his channel this week, but I'm hoping to get over there. Um, so be sure to just hop around and see what everybody is doing. I hope you all get to pull out your bunnies and your spring crafty items and uh, make some wonderful spring projects. It is so much fun. And uh, I think my very favorite one, honestly, is this embossing folder with all of these beautiful spring flowers because I am just itching to get out into my garden. But the bunnies make me smile too. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know if you have a favorite project of what I shared today. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a big uh, dose of love to everybody out there that is struggling with anything hard. Um, if you're having anxiety about things going on in your life, I just send you my love. And uh, just try to remember each day to look at some of the things that are good in your life. It will help you get through the hard moments. All right, everybody, God bless you all. Take care, and I will be back again for my next episode of Saturday Morning Makes, hopefully next weekend, okay? And don't forget that we have the My Creative Time release coming up, and I am working behind the scenes. I'm gonna try to do some projects for it. Emma knows I have a lot on my plate right now with family stuff, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do four videos like I normally do for the release, but I am gonna at least try to share some ideas and projects if I can. So I just want to kind of toss that out there and let you know. 
Um, and I will be back with you soon, I hope. I love sharing with all of you. And I do have some happy mails to share. And I will be coming back on, hopefully, to do a video right after this one. Okay? All right, everybody. Thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out and it helps my family out. Thank you.